The Dongyodong residence of the late President Kim Dae-jung was recently sold to a coffee company executive. This stands in contrast to the late First Lady Lee Hee hos will to make the resident a historic museum. Now, as the Democratic Party faces criticism for inaction, despite its professed dedication to Kim's ideals, a partisan debate over solution is intensifying. This year marks the 100th year of the birth of late former President Kim Dae-jung. In a ceremony held in January, politicians from both sides of the aisle gathered to commemorate the legacy of Kim, who dedicated his life to the country's democratization. Kim's son and former lawmaker Kim Ong go reportedly sold his father's residence early last month due to the burden of having to pay 1.7 billion won or 1.2 million US dollars in inheritance tax. This has sparked a political backlash. Calling for countermeasures, new future party leader Chun Byung Hun criticized the Democratic Party, saying its idle attitude is in stark contrast to the immense effort exerted to protect its candidate for chairman, Lee Jae Myung. Amid the escalating controversy, DP members who are followers of the late president, known as the Dongyodong faction, discussed the matter and sought to ensure calm, even citing remarks made by E. However, the situation appears to be getting more entangled as Kim ong gul revealed that he didn't receive a single phone call from the DP side. 저한테 연락해서 뭐 아, 어떤 대표로. 의견을 말씀해 주신 분한 분도 없고요. 상의를 안 하신 상황에서 뭐가 해결책이 나올 수가 있는 건지 저는 좀 어리둥절할 뿐입니다. The Kim Dae-jung Foundation said it had plans from two years ago to purchase the residence and turn it into a memorial hall and promised to meet with the buyer and continue talks. Meanwhile, DP representative Chong Chong ne proposed purchasing the Tonggyodong residence using state and municipal funds to turn it into a cultural and historical landmark. This idea was slammed by the People Power Party's Supreme Council member Kim Jae-won, who said leftist forces are draining public funds. The dispute over the residence is now becoming a focal point of bipartisan wrangling.